Building on what we learnt in the one-way switching method, we're going to now use this in the two-way switching method. In two-way switching, we still use a standard light mech. You remember that it has four terminals, the common and one, but we're going to be using the number two terminal. The fourth terminal, the loop terminal, we won't be using. Let's draw the other mech in. Between the one and the one, we're going to have one conductor and between the two and the two, the other conductor. Remember, we call this our strap or strapper cabling. From the common and the common, we will run our hard actives or switched actives back to the 413 socket or lighting point. As per our drawing, we're going to be using a strapper cable between the two light mechs. In this case, this is a twin active. We're going to take the red conductor and terminate it into the number one terminal. The other end will do the same, making sure to put it into the number one terminal. We'll do the same for the white conductor, but putting it into the number two terminal. Watch as we do it. So taking the red conductor out of the twin active, we put it into the number one terminal, take your screwdriver and tighten it up. Once it's tight, check. Taking your white conductor, do the same, putting it into the number two. Taking the other end of the strapper cable, we'll do the same thing again, remembering that we want the red conductor to go into the number one terminal. It's important to remember that we get a good, close, tight terminal. We don't want any loose conductors because that could create a hot joint. Depending on whether you're using the loop at the lamp or looping at a J-Box method, the last step is to install, firstly, the hard active into the common terminal of one of the mechs and the switched active into the other. Now you've completed the task, let's learn how to connect this to a 413 socket.